a visit and a victory lap. It's been five years since China's leader last stepped foot in Hong Kong. Over that time, he's radically reshaped the city. Hong Kong's national security law has been adopted, providing the institutions and norms for upholding national security. 25 years ago, Beijing promised to maintain freedoms and pursue elections when it took the city back from British control. But Xi Jinping has crushed all of that, with laws that deem political opponents as threats to national security and traitors. Media outlets have been closed, the first steps of censorship introduced. Now most of the city's pro-democracy leaders are in jail, on bail or in exile. No people in any country or region in the world would ever allow political power to fall into the hands of foreign forces or people who don't love their country and would even sell it out. With so much pressure, it's now very hard to find pro-democracy supporters in Hong Kong willing to speak publicly. Debbie Chan, a former local councillor, says many Hong Kongers feel the only choice left is to leave. If you came to Hong Kong, actually if you go to a restaurant or a bar, it's always like someone is following their friends and family members. So, and like the only reason why you go to the airport is because like you are sending your friends away. Adding to the city's woes, tight COVID border restrictions have crippled Hong Kong's status as a global hub. That will pose the first challenge to Xi Jinping's hand-picked new leader, John Lee. With the city transformed and the opposition gone, Xi Jinping strongly hinted that Hong Kong now has the type of system Beijing always envisioned. He said there's no reason to change it in another 25 years' time when the one country, two systems deal expires. Bill Bertels, ABC News.